guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to crochet this beanie hat. Let's get this tutorial started. This is the size crochet hook I'll be using. The tools you'll need for this project is a yarn color of your choice. The one I'm using is this one by Red Heart and it's called Cafe Latte. You're going to need a pair of scissors, a crochet hook, and it's optional if you're going to want to use a safety pin. I'll show you why I like using these a little bit later on. Another optional step if you're going to want to use a different color trim, I'm going to be using a different color trim. I'm going to be using this beautiful color by Red Heart and it's called Coral. I also made a flower in this coral color so that it could match the trim of my hat, but this is also an optional step. You don't have to add the flower if you don't want to, but this is the flower right here along with the two little leaves. I'm not going to be showing you how to make these in this video just because I already made a tutorial on it. I will be pasting the link to that tutorial in the information section. I'm going to get my crochet hook, cause a little bit of pressure to that yarn. I'm going to rotate it all the way around and I'm going to be making a chain of five. This little loop here counts as one. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through that little loop. That counts as two, three, four, and five. So there's my little chain of five. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and I'm going to go into the first stitch and I'm going to grab that yarn and bring it in through the first stitch. When I take it out, there should be three little loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through the three little loops. What I'm going to be doing is going in twice into each of the five stitches. So I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, go back into the first stitch, the same one, grab that yarn, there's my three loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through the three loops. So I basically did the same thing. The only difference is that I'm going to end it with a chain of two. This one here counts as one and there's the second one. So I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, go into the following stitch, place my crochet hook in there, grab that yarn, bring it in. There's my three loops. This is the first time I'm going into that second stitch. I'm wrapping the yarn around my crochet hook and bringing it in through the three loops. So there's that little chain of one. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, go back into the same exact stitch, grab that yarn and bring it in. There's the three loops. This is the second time I've gone in. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, bring it in through the three loops. There's the little chain of one. The second time I want to end with a chain of two. So all I'm going to do is wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in a second time. From here I just continue going all the way around to the through the five stitches. I've just completed my first round. I'm about to begin round two. So what I'm going to be doing for round two is I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and I'm going to be going in once into each of the stitches left behind by row one. So I'm doing the same exact thing, wrapping the yarn around my crochet hook, bringing it in through the three loops, and I'm going to be ending each time with a chain of two. There's one, there's two. So I'm wrapping the yarn around my crochet hook, going into the following stitch, grabbing that yarn, bringing it in through the loop. There's my three little loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hit hook, bring it in through the three little loops, ending it with a chain of two. This one counts as one, Two. So I'm just going to continue doing this all the way around row two. I've just completed round two. What I like to do after completing round two is I get my safety pin and I place it right where I began the hat. This way I know that every time I pass the head of the safety pin, I've ended a row and I'm beginning a new one. Now I'm beginning round three. What I'm going to do is very simply wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, go into the stitch left behind by row two, grab the yarn, bring it in through the stitch. There I have my three loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through the three loops, ending it with a single loop. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and go into the next one and do the same exact thing. I'm just going to continue doing this all around row three. I'm ending row three, beginning row four. What I'm going to do for row four is wrap the yarn around my crochet hook. I'm going to go in to each stitch, grab the yarn. There's my three loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, bring it in through the loops, and I'm going to end with a chain of two. This one counts as one, 
two. So basically that's what I'm going to be doing all around row four. So it's wrapping the yarn around my crochet hook, bringing it in through the stitch, grabbing that yarn and bringing it in through the stitch. There's my three loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through the three little loops. There's one little loop. I'm going to end with a chain of two, one, two, and again begin the process. I'm ending row four, beginning row five. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and I'm going to go in once into every stitch left behind by row four. Very simply ending with a single loop. Wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, go into the following one, grab that yarn, bring it in. There's my three loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through the three loops and there's the single loop and I'm going to continue this pattern all around row five. I've just completed row five. I'm about to begin row six. What I'm going to be doing all around row six is ending with a chain of one and the following one a chain of two. A chain of one, a chain of two. I'm just going to be following that pattern all around row six. So I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook. I'm going to go into the following stitch, grab that yarn. There's my three loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, bring it in through the three loops and ending it with just that single loop. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, going to the following one, and this time I'm going to be ending it with a little chain of two. This one counts as one, two. The following one is just going to be ending it with a chain of one. The following one will be a chain of two, and I'm just going to continue this pattern all around row six. I've just ended row six, I'm beginning row seven, and I'm just going to be ending row seven each time with a single little loop. So I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, going into every single stitch. I'm placing my crochet hook in, grabbing that yarn. There's my three loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, bring it in through the three little loops, ending with just the single little loop. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and go into the following stitch, and I'm just going to continue doing this all around row seven. I've just ended row seven. I'm beginning row eight. Row eight will be our first tightening row. So I'm going to be going into each stitch, ending with a single little loop ten times. This is my second one. On the 11th and 12th stitch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook. I'm going to go in to the 11th stitch, grab that yarn, bring it in. I'm going to go into the 12th stitch, grab it and bring it in. So I have four loops. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through the four loops. So I'm going to continue doing this all around row eight, which is going in 10 times. And then on the 11th and 12th times, I'm going to be finishing off the way I just showed you. I've just completed row 8. What I'm going to be doing all the way around through row 9, all the way to row 15, is I'm just going to be wrapping my yarn around my crochet hook, going in once. There's my three loops. And I'm going to bring the yarn in through the three loops, ending with a single little loop. So I'm just going to be doing this all around row 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Once you've completed row 15, this is what your hat should look like, sort of like a little bucket. This is the inner part, that's the side, and then that's the outer part. So now let's continue with row 16. For row 16, we're going to be doing exactly the same thing we did for row 8. I'm going to be going in to the next 10 following stitches, the same way we've done all of them ending with a single. So I'm going to be doing this to the next nine stitches. So I've just ended my tenth stitch. For stitch 11 and 12, I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook. I'm going to go in through stitch 11, bring that yarn out. I'm going to go directly into stitch 12, grab the yarn and bring it out. There's my four stitches, my four little loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through the four loops. And again, go into the next following 10 stitches and just continue that pattern. 
I've just completed row 16. I'm about to begin row 17. What I'm going to be doing all around row 17 is I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook. I'm going to go into the stitch, grab the yarn, bring it in through the stitch. There's my three loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through the three loops, ending with a single little loop. So I'm just going to be doing this all around row 17. I've just completed row 17. I'm about to begin row 18. Row 18 is going to be our last subtle tightening row, which is going to be exactly the same way as we've done the rest of them, which is wrapping the yarn around your crochet hook, bringing it in through the stitch, grabbing the yarn, bringing it in through that stitch. There's your three loops. Wrap the yarn around your crochet hook, bring it in through the three loops, ending with a single little loop. So I'm going to be doing this to the following nine stitches. I've just completed stitch 10. What I'm going to be doing to stitch 11 and 12 is I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, bring it in through stitch 11, grab that yarn, bring it in through stitch 11. I'm going to go directly into stitch 12, grab the yarn, bring it in through stitch 12, and there you see my four loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through the three loops. The following 10, I'm just going to be doing the same exact thing, which is ending with a single little loop for the next 10 stitches. I've just ended my 10th stitch for stitch 11 and 12. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, go in through stitch 11, grab that yarn, bring it in, go directly into stitch 12, grab that yarn, bring it in. There's my four loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through the four loops. And just continue this pattern all around row 18. I've just completed row 18. I'm about to begin my last row 19 and this is where I'm going to be adding a different color but this is totally optional. If you want to continue your beanie with the same color just continue row 19 the same way just ending with a single loop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding a different color so I'm going to pull that little loop a little bit. I'm going to get my scissors, clip it there. I'm going to get my second color which is my coral color and I'm going to get these two ends and I'm just going to make a tight little knot joining the two of them and I'm just going to tighten that as tight as I can like that and I'm going to be making a knot now I'm going to get my scissors and clip off the little tail because I'm going to the same exact way, wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, go in through the stitch, grab that yarn, bring it in, there's the three loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through the three loops, ending with a single little loop. So I'm just going to be doing this all around row 19. I've just completed row 19. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go directly into the following stitch, grab that yarn, and bring it in through the loop. I'm going to go into the following lower round, which was round 18. I'm going to grab that yarn and just bring it in directly on to the loop. Now I'm going to pull my loop. I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to cut off the little tail. I'm going to get the little tail and bring it in through the little loop and I'm just going to tighten that up. Now I'm going to flip the hat to the inner part and I'm going to get my crochet hook and I'm going to place it in through a stitch. I'm going to grab that yarn and bring it in through that stitch and again tighten it one more time. Now I'm going to go in to the next stitch, grab that yarn bring it in through there and I'm going to make a knot. Now I'm going to cut the excess. Here we have the completed beanie. Here you have the top area, the side where we added the last round with an accent color, then the inside of the beanie, 
and optional if you guys decided to add the flower along with the two little leaves. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and try these out. Be safe and I'll see you next time. Bye!